When we talk about realism in orchestral mock-ups, what do we really mean? Well, in this tutorial, I want to take you on a little trip through my mindset and the approach that I take to the art of creating orchestral mock-ups. For me, realism is the art, and it's more of a, an art than a science, really. Realism is the art of producing orchestral music with samples in a way that minimizes the degree to which we call attention to the fact that we're using samples. Realism is about creating music in which every part comes across as a masterful performance by the finest instrumentalists, playing with great phrasing and dynamics, and all under the direction of a great conductor. The hallmarks of a great mock-up are when every musical line speaks with clarity, where every gesture is well-defined, and where your musical intentions come across unambiguously. But most importantly, a successful mock-up is one where every moment conveys your musical intentions with a convincing, perhaps even compelling sense of musical emotion. And altogether, this is the mindset that I put myself in and which form what I call my prime directive for creating orchestral realizations. My approach is to get each part in an orchestration to sing on its own as a standalone, masterful, hopefully masterful, musical performance or to otherwise express the various ideals of my prime directive. And while I'm creating a mock-up, I tend not to use any EQ, no compression, definitely no compression, no limiting, and no mastering plugins on the output. As I said in the previous tutorial, none of those things are going to contribute to a realistic sounding mock-up. The realism comes from, well, all the things that I listed in my prime directive, and you get all those things from choosing the right samples or using various controls to impart nuance and dynamics into your sound and adjusting note lengths and velocities and doing all the MIDI futzing that will breathe life into each one of your parts. The mock-ups you're going to hear in this tutorial reflect this approach and the sounds you'll be hearing are, for the most part, unprocessed and straight out of the box just as you'd hear them if you were using the same sample libraries. The biggest difference might be with the reverb that I'm using, and for this tutorial, I decided to keep it simple and just use one. I'm using Altiverb and the stock Teldex preset. So there it is, a little trip through my brain and the things I think about when I'm creating orchestral realizations.